Star Wars. Marvel. Mecca. And more. This is Star Wars and to me. Hello guys and welcome back to our Star Wars Vigo review. It's been a while since I've done a Vigo review and uh, this time we're just going to take a look at a uh, Vigo that has appeared in Return of Jedi. But um, this is not based on the Return of Jedi um, appearance that is. Uh, Vigo we're going to take a look at today is pretty a lot of, um, a rather large Vigo and it's the uh, Rogue Squadron, Dagger Squadron, uh, B-Wing Fighter and just let's Get these guys up because, um, there you go. So this large vehicle, as you can see, pretty big. Um, so this is the dagger squadron viewing fire. But of course, as always, we'll take a look at the packaging first. And uh, this is made in 2008, so you got the nice... Uh, Legacy Collection packaging and says Dagger Squadron B Wing Fighter. You can see, um, and then you get this real nice plastic so you can actually see the, see the vehicle very well. And then on the other side, you got the features. You can see. And then a description of the vehicle. And I'm just gonna read that for you guys. In the story, small victories from Star Wars Rebellion comic series, Rebel Lions viewing starfighters take on an Imperial fleet while trying to rescue Luke, Leia and the crew of Rebel One from an Imperial refueling station. Rebel officer Lieutenant Pollard leads the fledgling Dagger Squadron on their first mission that's full of daring and danger viewing full of daring and danger. B-Wings pack a powerful punch and bell. These heavy assault fighter fighters slash bombers are armed with cans and torpedoes, and the rotation cockpit enables pilots to execute advanced attack maneuvers. So that's what it says on the packaging. Um, I think this is a real cool figure. It does come with a very nice pilot, which, uh, just like I mentioned, it is uh, Lieutenant Pollard, and um, he's in the cockpit. So, um, yeah, let's just take a look at the... Um, you know, the action features and everything that the B-Wing can do. So, uh, as you can see, here is the cockpit. Uh, let's just open this up. Just to um, show you guys. The figure... Oh, my. there we go. Um, so there's even a plastic kind of hand there. There we go. Hope this, this doesn't stay up. There we go. There's the pilot, as you can see, and let's just take that out and just take a look at him uh, in just a sec. So there you go. And as you can see, this cockpit has some real nice detailing. Don't know if you guys can see that very well. But it, you have to apply a lot of stickers on this one. So you get this real nice looking cockpit. With all the buttons and everything just looks real nice. And if you close it, as you can see, real nice kind of red, white version and like I said on packaging it does have like a, a rotation cockpit what it does if you turn this this cockpit will always straight forward as you can see this this is pretty cool feature in my opinion uh, but I think the first B wings already had that so you got that uh, the other thing you have is um, you get these wings of course that open you can put them like this or you can close them like so and that's basically if you wanna land this one uh, to basically open the wings is just same thing as you close them you got this pro uh, what is kind of a propeller thing uh, on the vehicle and you need to turn that uh, kind of give some twists on it and then you can open it and there you go as you can see it just looks real nice as you can see this is a real large vehicle this is a real cool one it's got that as a real nice feature and uh, then again on the um, wings you have some real nice detailing oh, I just tried to show that uh, 
And these, uh, the black parts, it's just all stickers and all. Got these sides, just some real nice detail. So you got that, you just turn that back, they close. And then just take a look at this sticker here. Kind of a knife put into the sticker. Real cool. Uh, the other thing you can do is you have this kind of uh, button, kind of lever here. On this side, as you can see, this part here. And what do you do? What it does, if you put it, turn it, it uh, basically goes, as you can see, this part there. So just to put the landing gear out, actually. So you can land this thing real nicely. And to close it up, you just have to push this button here, and this will close. Um, I thought it would, no. Just the same lever, but there you go. I um, don't really know what uh, this one does anymore. Totally forgot that. Um, but yeah. Let's just open this up again, and then just show you um, the missiles. It does have some missiles here on the side, as you can see these red ones on both sides. These are removable and uh, replaceable. So, um, and I think these ones do fire. As you can see, there is a button here, there. If you sh if you press that button, and then that's, uh, there you go. Thought it would fire, but um, there was some kind of fire mechanism in this. But um. I'm not sure how this works anymore. It's been a long time since I took this out of the packaging. But, um, I think it's... Yeah, it was this button. <laughs> so, uh, let's just try the other side. was not uh, put in very well, I think. So, let's just... Yeah, there you go. Now, there, there you go. <laughs> They're out now. So, that's that. And what you can do is, uh, you can kind of take these off. Well, let's just do that off camera, because... Somewhat hard to do. There you go. So you can take it off. There you go. You got a missile. Uh, and then you got the, these ones. We have some nice detail. And you can replace these ones. Um, and once again, there we go. I think it's like this. So, there you go. That's the other one. You can see the difference. So, I'm not gonna replace both, but we got a second one. So, for the other side. So, you got that as a feature. And then, uh, you got some nice detail. And once again, do you like the black, white, red? Diff all, everything. Some nice logos here and all. Real nice detail. And then, uh, we go down. You got this white cannon. That's real cool. So, you got that. So it's basically it for the Beagle, I don't think it does have any more features, um, but um, yeah, it's basically it for the Beagle, I think it looks really nice, just stunning ve looking vehicle, um, and if you just, you know, you can easily display this one if you have a lot of room, which I don't, so I, uh, I just in the box, um, and I don't even know if I showed you guys this one, if you guys uh, saw this one in my collection. Tour, uh, room tour video. I'm not sure about that, but uh, let's take a look at the figure guns, which um, is a pretty cool figure. I like the packaging set. It is a uh, Lieutenant Pollard, uh, which is, in my opinion, a pretty cool figure. As you can see, real nice B-wing pilot. Uh, it, it does have a removable helmet, and as you can see, the rem helmet is has some nice detail. Uh, so let's remove that one. And then you got a real nice face, in my opinion. I think the hair looks really good. And the, he has a scar at his eye. That's real nice. And you go down, you have this suit, which looks real cool. This uh, is, of course, a, a detachable, but I don't know why you want to detach it. Um, it does come with one accessory, which is the blaster. It's a regular uh, pilot blaster, I believe, but uh, it doesn't have like a holster to store the blaster in, so you have to hold it in his hand or just store it in the vehicle somewhere. So that's that, and you can see 
some more detail definitely on the shoulders and the arms and legs this red stripe here and also on the other side and the console here on his body is real nicely done so that's that and uh, of course the legs around his leg he has these uh, beige straps so that's really nice and then on the back you have this nice silver uh, somewhat belt buckle and in the front you have kind of some uh, ammo as you can see here is some ammo which is also painted in silver so you know it looks real cool I think it looks great um, it's a pretty cool figure and I'm really happy that I basically got this uh, vehicle I think I got it about hmm, yeah, four years ago, like just in the store when it got in the stores in uh, in Germany, I got it there. So it's pretty cool. I'm really happy that I picked it up. And like I said, the vehicle is great. Figure is great, and uh, of course, um, the figure also has some nice articulation. It does have a ball joint, head, ball and shoulders, a uh, ball and elbows, a uh, swivel forearms. Uh, you got the uh, swivel torso, of course. So hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. So really well articulated uh, pilot figure. So all in all, this is a very cool uh, set. You know, I just uh, put the pilot bag in, or just not one dude. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look at the vehicle once more. As you can see, it's real cool vehicle. You can basically, as you can see, so. You can play around with it and the cockpit will always have this nice position as you can see and just fly and the only thing you need now is a um, tie interceptor to basically make a bell uh, above and or which I think would look cool but you know I think the uh, regular revenge collection viewing is a better version to do that the colors are more accurate to the uh, end or to return of the Jedi a movie of course and, uh, but all in all, this is a very nice uh, vehicle, and I'm not planning on getting an RB wing, so this is the only one I'm gonna keep, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review on the uh, Dagger Squadron B Wing Fighter from the Legacy, Le Legacy Collection in 2008. And uh, we'll be back with some more reviews very soon. So um, until then, keep collecting, I'm in the force, be with you. Bye.